Hi, this is Betty, and I'm outside in my backyard garden. I'm going to talk about what I have growing and some of the issues that we have with some of the plants. Um, this is my spaghetti squash right here. And we live in Zone 5. We also, last year and the year before, had a large infestation of squash bugs in our state, especially in our area. And so I have found several this year already. What I do is I come out here um, in the mornings and I check my plants, my, sp my squash plants, and make sure that there are no squash bugs hiding. Sometimes I have to water first and they'll, they'll come out from where they're hiding. I usually find them under the vines down near the roots. And I also check each leaf. I check the backs of the leaves because this is where they lay their eggs. And this morning already I did find one batch of eggs and um, I ripped it off the leaf. Usually what I have to do is tear the leaf where the eggs are and then I squish them and I toss it over the fence to my chickens and they thought it was great. But anyway, um, so I check all my squash plants and then I put diatomaceous earth on them. If I have found squash bugs, then I have to do something to help keep the bugs off of my plants. So we put diatomaceous earth on. Um, this is my bucket full. I've showed it before. I keep this right out in the garden. When I find a squash bug, what I have to do is gr capture it. I usually get it, coax it into a cup, and I, um, well, I have to step on them and smash them, and it becomes quite a chore when I find several. Yesterday I found two, so I wasn't very happy about the bugs. I found about 16 so far this year, so I know it's going to be a bad year for squash bugs again. This is a... I think this is my crookneck squash. Last night we got the trellises put up and today I'm going to be tying up my cucumbers. And I use nylon, old nylons that I cut up. And you can see here on these plants the black nylon that I've used. Nylon is very soft and stretchy and it's very gentle on the plants. I learned this on a, I think a website on gardening, and it's what someone used. There's my cucumber. And I'll check this quick neck. Got some baby quick necks on there already. But this is the plant I found some squash bugs on yesterday. I haven't seen any today yet. Yesterday we finished this bed and I planted green beans in it. Actually, I have a variety of beans in here. I've got green beans, um, purple beans, which when you cook them, they turn green, and yellow beans. Some are yellow beans and some are just um, yellow wax beans. I don't know if there's really a difference, but anyway, I soaked them before I planted them. This is another tip that I had from my friend Nancy is that she soaks her bean seeds the night before and then she'll plant them the next day and they come up much quicker. So I'm kind of anxious to see how this will do. Um, we're kind of late getting them planted. When I was growing up, my dad planted peas early in the year and then when the peas were finished, he'd pull those out and he'd plant beans afterwards. I know I still have time. We have 55 days to 60 days for um, the fruit to appear so we still have time before our freeze so I should be okay and we are struggling with our nasturtiums this is one right here kind of looking really sad and so is that one um, we found out they started looking sad when I planted them in the garden beds in the garden beds we have uh, fertilizers like um, manure 
and apparently they don't like healthy soil. Um, they do better in really poor soil. And they were looking pretty sad in my garden bed, so I pulled them out. They hadn't been in there very long, and I transplanted them. And they still aren't doing very well. I don't know if they'll snap out of it, but that's what they're looking like. Just kind of sad things here. So I don't know what the issue is. If it was really the um, manure that caused a problem, I don't know. They really weren't touching the manure, but who knows? Anyway, um, with the, back to the squash bugs, you really have to keep an eye on your plants because as soon as you turn your head and not pay attention every day, or at least several times a week, you'll get a plant surprise you'll come outside and they will be looking sad like they need water and you water them and it doesn't make any difference and then another couple of days later they're flat on the ground and they are dead so that's what the squash bug does i think they must attack the stems or the roots i really don't know i don't see any on here today um, check the leaves and just check the back of the leaves. When I put the diatomaceous earth on, I cover the vines where they crawl and just a little bit around the dirt. And then I try to get some on the backs of the leaves because this is where they lay the eggs. Um, the other thing that I have problems with in my garden is we had a rainstorm a couple of days ago. Everywhere I water, there are weeds and you can see I've had these flowers growing for quite a while they're one of the first ones I planted and look at all these weeds coming up so I've got a chore and trying to figure out how to control the weeds in my pathways and my friend Nancy puts down pea gravel and I would just need a whole lot because we have let's see out of our garden beds we've got one two three, four, then we're starting our fifth long one, and then we'll have a smaller one um, near the fence there where we're gonna grow my beets and my Swiss chard, maybe some carrots, I haven't decided yet, but um, definitely beets and Swiss chard. Now, um, I've thought about just keeping these pathways clear by rototilling them every other week or something.